Hello, uh, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing complex number and this is uh, lecture number 7. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 6 before watching this part 7. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about the supplementary exercise which is uh, given added in the syllabus later on and that is uh, described as supplementary exercise and this uh, they have included a square root of complex number. So, let me discuss uh, a square root of complex number. So, a square root of the topic is a square root of complex number. Complex number, right? So, we will discuss this how to find a square root of complex number. So, that simple idea we can generate from this a square root of complex number is also in complex number of course and now uh, suppose we have to find a square root of any number say let 5 plus 12 y uh, starting from question there is no problem find uh, a square root of let, let, let us discuss in theory as well so a square root of a plus i iota b is any complex number or x plus iota y uh, let uh, find a square root of find a square root of a square root of a plus iota b right so we can uh, write as a theory let a plus square root of a plus iota b is equal to x plus iota y we can say because a square root of any complex number is a complex number now we can proceed like uh, squaring both the sides Squaring both the sides, both the sides we have a plus iota b is equal to x square minus y square plus 2xy iota. Now, equating real and imaginary parts both the sides, if we are equating a real and imaginary part both the sides, equating a real and imaginary parts imaginary parts both the sides parts both the sides so we will have x square minus y square is equal to a and 2xy is equal to b now these are uh, two more equations comes and here are only two variable so we can solve it uh, simultaneously and we will find the value of x and y this is what we have to do in this chapter this is the basic. Now, on solving 1 and 2, 1 and 2, we can find value of x and y. We can find value of x and y, x and y, right? So, this is what uh, the basic theory there. Now, uh, in question, how we can deal with all this situation? So, let us uh, understand from the question so in question i am taking one question find a square root of question find the square root of any number a square root of say 3 minus 4 iota or 3 plus 4 iota so we can write it uh, as let for solution you will write from here only let a square root of 3 plus 4 iota is equal to x plus iota y. Now, on a squaring, a squaring, this is one equation one. 3 plus, on a squaring, uh, we will have 3 plus 4 iota is equal to x square minus y square plus 2xy iota. Because iota square, y square will be minus y square. So, now, equating real and imaginary parts both the sides, equating real and imaginary parts, imaginary parts both the sides, we have what? There is an x square minus y square is equal to 3. That is equation second and imaginary part 2xy is equal to 4 that is third equation. Now we know one rule, uh, one formula I have used here that a plus b whole square is equal to 
a minus b whole square plus 4ab. This is the what formula we have learned in our childhood. So we can use it here also and that will be x square plus y square whole square is equal to that j that is b. x square minus y square a minus b whole square plus 4ab. 4ab means 4 times of x square y square. So we can use it like here and we can write x square plus y square is equal to if I remove a square then this side it will be a square root and that will be x square minus y square whole square and this can be written as 2xy whole square. So putting the value from here only x square minus y square is 3 so that will be 3 square and 2xy is 4 so 4 square and that will be 9 plus 16 which is 25 and 25 square root of 25 is 5. So x square plus y square is 5 you got and x square minus y square is 3. x square plus y square is 5 and x square minus y square is 3. From first by adding these two you will have 2x square is equal to 8 and that will be x square is equal to 4 and so x is equal to plus minus 2. Now x square minus y square is 3. Since x square plus y square is equal to 5 and x square is 4, so y square is equal to 5 and this is equal to y square is equal to 1, which gives y is equal to plus minus 1. So there are four solutions uh, x is plus 2 minus 2, y is plus 1 minus 1. So there can be four solutions that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 2 and uh, y is equal to plus 1. So there are four solutions. So these are four solutions and because we are going to find a square root of complex number, so there could be only two solutions. So how to resolve this situation? The problem to the skill and how to deal with such situation uh, we uh, it will be helpful from equation third that x y is equal to 4 it means product of x and y is positive it means either both are positive or both are negative so we can write from 3 from third since x y is greater than 0 Therefore, x and y should have same sign, should have same sign, same sign. It means um, when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 and when x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 1. They are both positive and both negative. So these two solutions, this one and this one will exist and this one and this one will not exist. So I can choose two of them and putting the value of x2 and y1 the answer will be like uh, 3 plus 4 iota is 2 plus iota and minus 2 plus iota. So a square root of 3 plus 4 iota could be and therefore a square root of 3 plus 4 iota what is equal to x plus iota y and that is 2 plus iota or minus 2 minus iota. So if I take positive sign uh, plus minus sign both, if I took negative sign from here that would be also positive. So that can be also written as 2 plus iota. It means positive sign and negative sign together can be written as 3 plus 4 iota is equal to plus minus 2 plus iota and that will be answer of this question. So simply can be written. So if there is what the tricky approach is you can do anyway but uh, what the tricky approach if there is a positive put it here positive. If there is positive assume it as positive. If there is negative assume it as negative. So that will be definitely helpful to deal with situations. So now uh, take up from exercise questions from exercise I am going to take on and the exercise is given here 
exercise of supplementary exercise one of supplementary exercise and what is that given your question find the square root of find the square root of each of the following complex number each of the following complex number following complex number and the very first exercise question is given here that minus 15 minus 8 iota so we can assume it as we had discussed earlier we can assume it as that the square root of minus 15 minus 8 iota is equal to x minus iota y this is one because there is a negative so i have taken here negative mind it here is a negative so i have taken negative here also Make it so that will be 15 minus 8 iota now on squaring both the sides squaring we have minus 15 minus 8 iota is equal to x square minus y square minus 2xy iota and equating real and imaginary part both the sides on equating a real and imaginary part and imaginary parts both the sides we have x square minus y square is equal to what minus 15 and x 2 x y iota is there and negative sign there so we can add a negative sign can cancel 2 x y is equal to 8 now using the same formula what i discussed earlier that x square plus y square is equal to under root x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square you can write it and that will be under root minus 15 square plus 8 square which is 289 and that will be 17 so x square plus y square is 17 and x square minus y square is minus 15 we can solve this to x square plus y square is equal to 17 and x square minus y square is minus 15 if we will add this to 2x two square is equal to 2 and x square is equal to 1 this will give x equal to plus minus 1 also if i am looking for x square plus y square is equal to 17 and x square is 1 so y square is equal to 17 y square is equal to 16 and y equal to plus minus 4 again here x y value of x y is positive x y is 4 so since x y again the same dialogue to be right here since x y is a positive and therefore therefore x and y should have same sign should have same sign same sign isn't it? and therefore uh, the square root of what what was the question minus 15 minus 8 iota is equal to plus minus x is 1 y is 4 so 1 minus 4 iota and that will be answer right now if you take positive sign x is 1 y is positive and negative sign was already there in between right so you can write like that there is no problem and that will be the easiest way to solve without any problem now the next question is question number two be there two roman two is there and that is minus three minus four iota so we will write here let the square root of minus 3 minus 4 iota is equal to x minus iota y. This is 1. On a squaring, a squaring that is minus 3 minus 4 iota is equal to x square minus y square minus 2xy iota. Now, so equating real and imaginary part on equating a real and imaginary part real and imaginary parts imaginary parts we have 
x square minus y square is equal to 3, this is second equation and 2xy is equal to 4, that is third equation. Now, we can write uh, the same formula, you must remember this formula because it is very useful, x square plus y square is equal to under root x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square and this is what will come that will be 3 square plus 4 square 9 plus 16 is 25 and square root of 25 is 5 so x square plus y square is 5 and x square minus y square is what 3 and therefore, by cancelling these two, 2x two square is equal to 8 and x square is equal to 4, x is equal to plus minus 2. If you will put this value here, then what will happen? x square plus y square is equal to 5. If x square is 4, then y square must be equal to 1. And y square 1, so y is equal to plus minus 1. Again, in third equation, x, y is 2. So, x, y is greater than 0 and therefore they have same sign. Since x, y is greater than 0, therefore x and y should have same sign. Should have same sign. Same sign. No? And therefore, the square root of the question was minus 3 minus 4 iota. Minus 3, 3 minus 4 iota is equal to plus minus x is 2 and y is 1 so 2 minus iota that will be answer right so in this way you will be able to do this now the next question is there is another question that i am going to take on today and this is question number third and question number third is like uh, 2 minus 2 root 3 iota so, we will again write the same way, let a square root of 2 minus 2 root 3 iota is equal to x minus iota y and on a squaring, a squaring it will be 2 minus 2 root 3 iota is equal to x square minus y square plus minus 2 xy iota minus 2xy iota. So, again we will write the same thing on equating a real and imaginary parts and imaginary parts. Imaginary parts we have what will happen? x square minus y square is equal to this equation. Second, and 2xy is equal to 2 root 3 that is third so you may write xy is equal to root 3 there is no problem but basically i am not doing that because we need 2xy only since we know we know what we know x square plus y square is equal to under root x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square. So, we will put the value directly here and that will be 2 square plus 2 root 3 whole square. And what is that? 12 plus 4 16 and a square root of 16 is 4. So, x square plus y square is 4, x square plus y square is equal to 4 and x square minus y square is 2. So, if I will add this then on adding these two cancels is 6 and x square is equal to 3 and therefore x is equal to plus minus root 3. Also since x square plus y square is equal to 4, um, we will put here x square plus y square is equal to 4. So x square is 3 now. So 3 plus y square is equal to 4, y square is equal to 1 and y is equal to plus minus 1, isn't it? y is equal to plus minus 1. Again, we will write the same dialogue. Every question, you need to write the same thing. x, y is positive from third, 
from third since x y is greater than 0 and therefore x and y should have same sign should have same sign same sign all right no problem and therefore a square root of what will the question question was 2 minus 2 root 3 iota is equal to x minus iota y so x is root 3 and iota is y is minus iota that will be the answer of this question, I think. So, right? The next question which is given here is a uh, question. Next question is question number 4 and that is 8 plus 6 iota. So, we will write in the similar fashion. Let the square root of let a square root of 8 plus 6 iota is equal to x plus iota y. I have taken positive sign because iota imaginary part is positive. Now on squaring, squaring 8 plus 6 iota is equal to x square minus y square plus 2xy iota. On equating real and imaginary part, on equating a real and imaginary part both the sides x square minus y square is equal to 8 and 2xy is equal to 6. This is second and third. Now again we will use the same thing x square plus y square is equal to under root x square minus y square whole square plus 2xy whole square so that will be under root 8 square plus 6 square that is 64 plus 36 is 100 and 100 square root of 100 is 10. Now x square plus y square is equal to 10 and x square minus y square is 8. So we can add them 2x square is equal to 18, x square is equal to 9 and x is equal to plus minus 3. So if I will put x is equal to plus minus 3, x square plus y square is equal to 10 and x square is 9 plus y square is equal to 10. So y square is equal to 1, y is equal to plus minus 1. Again, write the same thing every time. From third, x, y is greater than 0 and therefore x and y should have same sign. Should have same sign. Same sign. Isn't it? And therefore, a square root of 8 plus 6 iota is equal to plus minus, and x is 3 and y is 1. So, 3 plus iota. That would be answered. Now, one more question is there. Let us see. Uh, that is 7 minus 24 iota. Again, uh, this question is question number 5 and 7 plus minus 24 iota. So, we will uh, move ahead accordingly. Let a square root of 7 minus 24 iota is equal to x minus iota y. We can write one. Isn't it? Now, on squaring both the sides, Squaring what will happen? 7 minus 24 iota is equal to x square minus y square minus 2xy iota. Isn't it? So x square minus y square minus 2xy iota. Now equating real and imaginary part. Equating uh, real and imaginary parts imaginary parts we have we have x square minus y square is equal to 7 this is second and 2xy is equal to 24 that is third now again we will use the same formula x square plus y square is equal to under root x square minus y square whole square 
plus 2xy whole square and that is if I will put the value of all these 7 square plus 24 square that is 25 49 plus 576 that is 625 and which will be 25 now since x square plus y square is equal to 25 x square minus y square is equal to 7 so if you will, you will add it then what will happen 2x square is equal to 32 and that will be x square is equal to 16 and x is equal to plus minus 4. If we put x is equal to x square is 16 then from first uh, y square is equal to 9 and y is equal to plus minus 3. But again since they have same sign x and y is greater than 0 and therefore square root of what was question? Question was 7 minus 24 iota 7 minus 24 iota is equal to plus minus x is 4 and y is 3 so 4 minus 3 iota that will be the answer and you can write like this so i hope uh, this uh, you know how to deal with the square root of complex number if you will, uh, you will use for negative imaginary part as here also negative imaginary part, the things will be quite easier, otherwise mechanism will change. So why to change mechanism every time you can write for negative imaginary part put as x minus iota y, for positive imaginary part put as x plus iota y. And I hope there will be no problem in doing that, you understand it well. In the next class, we will discuss some more things uh, about the complex number um, and that is after break. So, we will discuss the remaining portion of this complex number after the break that is in the next video. So, till then, God bless you. Keep watching.